welcome to Uncaged, the show that celebrates thought leadership from today's top business leaders. The program provides a voice to amazing executives from around the globe who are shaping the world of business today and mapping the path to the commerce of tomorrow. Today, we're speaking with Melissa Bowie. Hey, Melissa, how are you? I'm well. Happy to be here. It's great to have you, Melissa, and we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic, but uh, not something I, I can profess to be an expert in myself, and so I'm glad to have you here. Melissa is the Global Lean Operational Excellence Corporate Director at Coherent. Um, she's also a Board of Directors member of the Southwest Region of the Association for Manufacturing Excellence. Um, I mean, Melissa's career is amazing. We're going to go through all the things that she's been working on. But suffice it to say that we've got a, a photonics expert in the room and a laser expert for those who don't know what we're talking about. And um, she's co-authored you know, more than 40 publications. She holds six patents. She's published uh, books. Uh, she lectures. She's, she's doing it all. So we're very excited to talk to Melissa and hear more about what she's working on now. But before we get there, Melissa, tell us a little bit about yourself and your career. Okay, happy to. So I, I grew, actually grew up on a farm, which early on sparked my interest in science. I love learning about how and why things worked. Luckily, I had some parents who really supported this thirst for knowledge. And um, I have very fond memories of my father and grandfather coming back every day from the fields at lunch and us sitting together and watching what was called the Noon Farm Report. And as we watched this, the host would talk about all these experiments that were going on at Auburn University around mm -hmm. farming. I loved it. And I knew I wanted to do experiments and figure things out when I grew up. And this eventually led me to Auburn University, not farming, but physics, <laughs> and then to the Naval Research Lab, where I was doing atomic physics calculations for laser development. After a few years of that, I decided I wanted to go back and, and finish my PhD. Um, I went to the University of Michigan and... Uh, Finished, uh, finished a PhD there, started a new job at Applied Materials, which is a semiconductor equipment company. And uh, this was an amazing experience. Um, it was here that I found what I loved and I've been doing it ever since, which is problem solving. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I'd hit the jackpot. I learned all about designed experimentation and building data models. It was I just thought, okay, this is it. I'm, you know, this is, uh, this is the primo. So after about 10 years, I left and hooked up with some graduate school buddies and we started developing a plasma diagnostic tool. Mm -hmm. um, we developed this tool because it would allow us to perform experiments within minutes that had previously taken weeks or months. And so it was gonna be a real value to the semiconductor industry. Well, after, after a little while, the tool and the patents were all sold to another semiconductor equipment company. So I was back on the job uh, looking, for, looking for another job. I started at Coherent, and I will be celebrating 15 years in uh, wow. a couple months. Well, congratulations, and certainly a fabulous career. Uh, a lot of big football schools there, Melissa. I don't know if you're a football fan, but I imagine that someone that goes to places like Auburn and Michigan can't escape it in some ways. Yeah. <laughs> but More eagle. There you go. So, so tell me more about um, what you're working on right now. So what I'm working on right now is actually a little deviation from, from engineering in some ways. Um, I'm working on a cultural transformation for our company. So some of you may be familiar with Coherent. We are a 50-year-old company. Um, we've grown and evolved from that you know, garage in Palo Alto, literally a garage in Palo Alto, to a global company. And we're roughly 5,000 people. So we've got this huge 
global footprint. And several years ago, we started looking at how we could strengthen our company and our brand. And out of this, we started on our lean journey. And so I have had the opportunity in the past to work on smaller transformations of businesses prior to this position, but it's that transformation work that I love. Mm -hmm. Lots of problems there to dig into. So, and changing a culture is tough. I mean, this is a big problem. Culture in an organization isn't something you can put your hands on. It's, you know, yet it's, it's as real as you and I are. Um, yeah. Culture arises from our experiences. And to change a culture, we've got to change the experiences that people are having within our organization. So my team and I, we're working to change that culture by focusing on our management systems and our processes. Our fundamental belief is that operational excellence sells. So if we focus on our people, drive continuous improvement in our processes and products, we believe that financial results will follow. Coherent is a great place to work. Um, and most of us are there because we love working on lasers and we like making the world a better place with the use of lasers. Yeah. And I just, I feel truly blessed to be able to drive continuous improvement in an organization to make it a better place for all of us to work. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that uh, I read that you have maybe is it, if I'm wrong, uh, some six Sigma experience there. So I can hear, I can hear in your answer, a little, a little bit of a six Sigma black belt voice coming out there. <laughs> A lot of passion around, um, <laughs> a lot of passion around that. So, I mean, it's a great story and certainly Coherent is a, a very important company. I mean, it's over a, a $2 billion global photonic uh, solutions producer and bringing together a new culture is phenomenal. Um, put kind of the work that you're doing in context of what we're seeing you know, in the marketplace today, I, you know, in the photonic marketplace today and, and where Coherent sits now? So as you mentioned, we're a photonics solutions company. So mm -hmm. what that means is we make lasers, optics, crystals, fibers, and then the metrology equipment that you, that you need to be able to mm -hmm. measure properties of light. And the really cool thing is, and people probably are not aware of this, but Lasers have touched almost every person in this solar system. And I'm including the solar system because of the space station. We've got some folks out there that are, you know, aren't on this planet necessarily. Um, so our products have, they, they've done all of that. And so we've come a long way from the invention of a laser, which was, at the time described as a solution looking for a problem to mm. today where we use lasers in surgery, dermatology, gynecology, cardiology, urology, neurology, otology, ophthalmology, every ology you can think of, um, yeah. dentistry, orthopedic surgery, cancer therapy, so much more. We use lasers for cosmetic applications like tattoo removal. Mm -hmm. And they're used for diagnosing diseases like retinal disease, cancer, HIV, and even fertility concerns. We use lasers for materials processing, like cutting, drilling, welding, marking, and so much more. You know, everything from like, you know, welding spark plugs or batteries to precision cutting for stents. Mm -hmm. They're... Lasers are used in the semiconductor industry. Um, every computer chip, that's billions, every computer chip that's built sees a laser often multiple times. So, and, and another area where we're really starting to see a lot of interest is in defense and, mm. and protecting our people, protecting our country. Um, this is a, another really large area. So- yeah. Lasers touch every part of people's lives, and that's why so many of us really enjoy working on Yeah, them. and as you kind of have outlined, not only does it touch every area now, whether it be medical, 
um, military, uh, really almost every area. And uh, as you mentioned, the, the technology space, just any any component that we would use in any type of a, a mobile device or a computer, et cetera. Um, you know, we're seeing that it's growing dramatically. Um, so you've been able to kind of continue the work processes and they continue to roll out. Um, you know, as you look forward, I mean, it, it sounds to me like every component that we've been discussing here uh, is really on the forefront of almost every field that we could imagine. Tell me a little bit more about what you guys are thinking about for the next year, year and a half on where you go. Well, I think with this, we really are focused on continuing to provide solutions mm -hmm. and deliver faster and better. So we have huge programs around quality, around and with the lean, which is problem solving. So continuous improvement big focus for us. And that's really, we're really wanting to take that to the next level. And um, so we're doing a lot of change around that. In that area. And and, and that yeah. makes a, a ton of sense. And I really love the what you were saying about trying to work on trying to work on changing a culture, but by doing it in a way where you're almost kind of stripping it back so that you get to that core element uh, that's critical for operational excellence. And I would say probably building a, a culture of performance, right? And that's, that's amazing. And I know that so many companies struggle to do it. So Melissa, thank you so much for sharing what you've been working on with Coherent. If somebody wanted to reach you, uh, where should they find you? I am on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. and that's probably the best way to reach me. I also am on Twitter, but a lot less. So LinkedIn is probably the best, the best way to reach me. That's excellent. Well, we've been speaking with Melissa Bowie. Uh, Melissa is the Corporate Director for Lean Operational Excellence at Coherent Inc., which is a $2 billion global photonic solutions company. We've been talking lasers uh, and, and uh, everything that they're building. And certainly what's becoming very, very clear is that almost all, every, uh, every avenue for the future has lasers involved in some form or fashion. And uh, we've been talking about how that work actually comes together with building an operation of excellence, you know, and changing a culture and building, building those teams going forward. And so, Melissa, it's been amazing to talk with you. We look forward to having you back on Uncage to hear how this, can, this story continues to unfold. Thank you very much, Ben. All right. Cheers. Bye.